Tonight, a state trooper claims that he was forced to change a police report after he arrested a judge's daughter for driving while drunk and high. WBZ's David Robichaux has the changes that he says he was forced to make. Ryan Sevior achieved his goal of becoming a state trooper at age 28. A year and a quarter on the job or so, uh, trying to do the right thing. His lawyer says Sevior was trying to do the right thing when he arrested 30-year-old Ali Bebo after she crashed her car on the Mass Pike in Worcester October 16th. In his report, Trooper Sevior says the young woman screamed, quote, My dad's an expletive judge. He's going to kill me. The trooper also wrote, Bebo admitted to performing oral sex on men in return for heroin, and she even offered him sex in return for leniency. I was screaming that she was the daughter of a judge. He did not know the name. Unbeknownst to the trooper, the suspect's father is Judge Timothy Bebo of Dudley District Court. Three days after the trooper filed his report, he was awakened by another trooper at the door of his home. He was told to report to the Holden Barracks and ordered to remove sections of his report that included the parts about sex and Bebo's relationship to the judge. He was told the order came from the very top, from Colonel Richard McKeon. This would not be happening if this was not the daughter of a judge. The state police released a statement saying the revision consisted only of removal of sensationalistic, directly quoted statements by the defendant, which made no contribution to proving the elements of the crimes with which she was charged. My father's a judge. Sensationalistic? Really? The president of the Mass State Police Association told me in his 31 years on the job, he's never heard of a colonel asking a trooper to change a report like this. Well, I don't understand how the colonel of the state police was putting this in play um, and to what end. Trooper Sevier's attorneys are suing the state police and Colonel McKeon, but they have no evidence that Judge Bebo was involved in the alleged attempted cover-up. In Boston, David Robichaux, WBZ News.